naught will be equal to a epsilon naught by d. So, this is an expression for a capacitor, capacitance of this parallel plate without any medium. Now, let us see when a dielectric substance is introduced in between it or dielectric slab. So, let us see what happens. Suppose the distance between the two plate is d and the thickness of the dielectric slab is say t. So, what happens here at this particular region that is in the region of d minus t the electric field will be E naught. Whereas, inside this the electric field will get reduced. So, let us find out the potential. So, the potential will be we will find out for this region and for this region. So, the potential will be equal to for the this and this region that is without the dielectric slab it will be equal to E naught into D minus T plus in this region since the electric field is reduced the value will be equal to E naught by K into T. Now, you may think that how this E naught has come. If you just go back to our Coulomb's law, in the very first chapter we have defined K as F naught by F and F naught is nothing but in terms of an electric field it is Q E naught by Q E. So, the E will be equal to in the presence of an dielectric it is like this. So, for this particular region the electric field will be E naught k by t. Now, let us solve further. So, V is equal to, so this can be written as V. Now, one more step we can solve it here. We can take E naught common. So, it will be D minus t plus t by k. Now, what is our aim? We have to find the C value capacitance. So, C is equal to Q by just substitute the value of V and what we can write sigma has Q has sigma into A. So, this is equal to sigma into A upon the V naught is E naught D minus T plus T by K. Since we want to compare with the capacitance value without any medium, so let us replace this E naught has what we can write E naught is equal to sigma upon epsilon naught. So, C is equal to sigma A upon sigma epsilon naught will come in the numerator. It will be D minus T plus T by K. So, it is equal to A epsilon naught d minus t plus t by k. So, if you compare this equation 1 and let us take this as equation 2, we can say c is always greater than c naught. It means that with the introduction of a dielectric slab, we can always increase its capacitance value. Further, if I make T is equal to D that is the thickness of the slab which we are introducing becomes same as this distance that is D is equal to T. Then let us see what happens to the equation 2. C is equal to this becomes equal. So, this get cancelled. So, you will have K into A epsilon naught by D. What is this value? This is C naught that is a capacitance of a parallel plate when there is no medium between the two. So, it becomes K times C naught. So, now after seeing the capacitance value let us see that how we can increase or decrease the capacitance value by connecting more capacitors in series or parallel. So, let us see first series. So, suppose I am just considering say a 3 capacitors if they are 
connected in parallel suppose this is your plus q minus suppose the capacitance value say c1 and say c2 c3 so since they are connected in the series so the total potential across this say it is v1 say this is v2 say this is your v3 so let us write our basic equation q is equal to cv so first find out what is same here the charge is same so what we can write what is v1 here just use this formula v1 will be equal to q by c1 similarly the voltage potential drop across the second one is q by c2 across the third capacitance it will be q by c3 now the total potential draw across a and b is say v it is equal to then v will be equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 if c is the effective capacitance then q is equal to i can v is equal to i can write q by c then what is the v1 v2 let us put the values q by c1 plus q by c2 plus q by c3 so what we will get 1 by c is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 so in the if the three capacitors are connected in series then the effective capacitor that is 1 by the reciprocal will be equal to the sum of their reciprocals similarly we'll see that if they are connected in parallel what will be the effective capacitance suppose this is the c1 value and this is c2 and say this is c3 suppose we have charge q so this is q1 suppose a q1 amount of charge flows across c1 q2 charge flows across c2 and q3 charge flows across this so here again basic equation q is equal to c we will use it so what is q1 and since they are connected in parallel so the potential drop across this same all will be same say it is v so first q1 will be equal to c1 v similarly q2 is equal to c2 v and q3 is equal to c3 v now what is the equation here we can form how we have formed in the series v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 here we will write q is equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 so q is equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 now what is this suppose c is the effective capacitance we can write q which is equal to c1 v plus c2 v plus c3 v so it will be equal to c will be equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 so we have seen that if they are connected in parallel the effective capacitance is equal to the sum of the individual so if you want to increase the capacitance value we can always connect them in parallel so we have seen that if they are connected in the parallel the effective will be equal to the sum of the individual so students this completes the chapter electrostatics thank you